Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of CCA TV. What we want to do today is we want to do a comparison between affordable UTVs. We get questions all the time about, I don't have $20,000 to dump on a UTV, so what's our next option? So we have two good options today. It'll be the Hyson Axis 4 500. Isn't it, isn't it 500? Mm -hmm. 500 four-wheel drive and also the Bighorn 450 four-wheel drive. Um, there's a lot of differences in these. They're about the same price, but we're gonna go through them, show you the units. We have really good luck with these. They're great entry-level UTVs, and we're gonna do some, some riding on them outside. It snowed a little bit today, so we get to slide them around in the snow a little bit or whatever, but uh, we're gonna show you the different, the different uh, options and Hope you enjoy and just let us know. We can help you. Any questions, hit the like button and subscribe and let's uh, let's get to it. Okay guys, this is the Axis 500. It is manufactured by Hyson, but it is sold at Lowe's. Now one thing you gotta remember when you buy one from one of these big box stores that they don't service them. You gotta find a dealer close by that's gonna service it. And Lowe's is just gonna take your money and say, have a nice day. So, but we were lucky enough to get one of these. It's in for a little service, uh, you know, some adjustments, different things. So we thought we'd just review it while we had it in here. Um, it's a really nice looking machine. I mean, it comes with tons of options. It's got your 26 inch tires. It's got your camo. It comes with your half doors. The windshields are optional. They're, I think, $249 option. But that's the only thing. They come with roofs. They come with your winches. Uh, this one has halogen headlights. And I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. I like the LEDs. But this one has some cool features. I'm not a big fan either of the windshield. The windshield folds down and sits on your hood. Um, I don't really like that. But I do like the fact that on this model, the hood will flip up. And you can get into, you know, if you gotta change a light bulb or different things, get in here to your radiator. That's a real nice feature. It opens it up so from a service standpoint, you can really get in there to it. I notice on this one too, a lot of the, where they dip these things for camo, they miss a lot on them. Um, not a big fan of that. I wish they'd take a little more time on that. Um, but we go to the cab. I get some mixed readings about this cab. A lot of people, they either love the buckets or they hate them. There's no in between on these because I think in their mind, they would like to be able to sit three people in here. And with this one, you will not be able to do that. Um, four wheel drive button. I like that with the lock and it also has a lock and differential front and back. It has your full blinker set up. It has your horn, your emergency brakes here. Here's your remote winch. Now I do like this because on the other models you'll see before it's, it's in the cab. So it's gonna be hard to work it by yourself. Uh, the half doors, I get some mixed reaction on them as well. I mean, they flip back on you and some people are not liking that as well, but I think they're pretty cool. Uh, another thing back here is I like the way they set the bed up. This has got a little bigger bed. It has a working tailgate. You know, you can put your stuff there, help you load up. Most of them just fall down. This one does not, it has a working tailgate. So I know that sounds like a silly option, but it's one that'll come in really handy. And then the gas assist is a big deal. It's that simple, it helps you assist. And it's not super hard to put back down. A lot of them are just so hard to put back down. This engine on this model sits right here in the cab. 
So I haven't noticed a lot of heat or anything coming out of this that's been annoying or anything on this model yet, but um, a lot of, some people are complaining a little bit about that. Go down here to the suspension. I mean, it's got the heavy duty shocks. It's already got your two inch receiver hitch in the rear. I mean, it, it pretty much comes ready to work. Again, right here, see the see the white where they, they missed it on the dip. I'm, I'm just not a big, I think it should be finished, more finished, but yeah, little thing. So I like the 26 inch tires. I like the blacked out wheels. I like the 35 inch, 35 pound winch. And I like the way it looks. It's a little narrower than the big horn, but you know, that's not too super big deal. This one has a lot of safety features on it that some of them don't. You have to have these seat belts connected for it to run like, you know, full power. Um, if you don't, it says it'll run five miles an hour. That's not done. So the seat doesn't adjust. I'm not a big, I like this seat to this. So I'm 6'2", 270, and I've got plenty of room though. So it's it's not hard to drive. It's a, it's a little cramped here on my legs, and I've got little short stumpy legs, so it may be an issue for taller people, but for, for less than 10 grand, actually less than eight, or right around 8,000, you can't really beat it. I do like I like a console shift, so that would wouldn't be a problem for me. But you do have to fight these doors a little bit. But other than that, pretty solid machine. It's got EFI, so it cranks real easy. This one's got the you know it's got the brake. You have to put the brake on, like a lot of them are doing now, and they always crank right up. unit so we'll get it side by side with the big horn here in a minute and we'll see what she does because that one's this one's 471 cc and the big horns 391 we'll see the power difference be back in a minute okay here's the big horn 450 efi i don't have a camo model right now because as soon as these units get here they're gone we sell a ton of these these are under eight grand right at it you know plus your windshield option back to this windshield i love this windshield because you can flip it up or roll it down i mean flipping it up in the winter is going to be you know you're going to have it up but in the summertime you're not going to want it up so this one doesn't lay on your hood it lays down out of your way and it's my opinion i like that better but there's some things you'll notice about this one. It's got the bench seat. It has nothing to get in your way here. Um, it's got the gas assist bed as well. All steel bed, three point system if you want to remove it. You can get a back seat on this one. You know, you can buy them both. So if you want to, you know, in the summertime, you want to go to the lake or whatever, you can put the seat on, take people with you. It's got the two inch receiver hitch. Both of them have about the same towing capacity. This is a thousand. I think that one's a thousand as well. The the Heisen model. But you can put 500 pounds in the bed of this. This one also has a working tailgate, which it's a big deal for me. I mean, I like that because if I'm pulling stuff out, I can sit stuff here to do what I want to do. This one is a 391 cc fuel injecting in we've had really good luck with these they actually are really solid units but basically in here you've got the same thing your gear shifters up here versus the console shifter your winch controls here like i was saying if you're that's the only drawback to this one i think when you get your you got to have two people to work this winch 
in my opinion, if you're out on the thing. Four wheel drive, your electronic lock. This has the LED lights, high and low beams, which is pretty cool. This is your LED display. I love the LED lights. Got to figure out how to turn them on. I mean, high and low beams, you're going to be able to see a lot better out of this one. Um, this got your 3,500 pound winch with a steel brush guard here. They have several different grills. This is not my favorite grill. I think the machine looks like a bug with this grill on it. So I never order them with this. This is just all they had at the time because of the big Christmas rush. So we had to go with this grill. You'll never see this grill here unless they just don't have any of the other ones. The other one's kind of a rounded grill. To me, it looks better. Some people don't agree, but you know, this one has 25 inch tires. 25 eighths in the front, 25 tens in the back. It's got your aluminum wheels. And the bench seat, all seat belts are three point seat belts. The emergency brake is here. I mean, it's just a solid machine and this one's a little easier to get into. About the same leg room, set up a little different, but you could actually run, drive three people in here, which is what everybody likes. Your side mirrors, your roof, all this is standard. The only option is the windshield. Everything else is standard, which, you know, with the big boys, they want you to buy roofs and everything else. So nothing comes with it. So that just jacks the price up more. So this is, you can come buy this machine, you don't have to do anything to it, but get in it and drive it. This one, like I said, with like the other one, crank right up. It's a little quieter than the other one, but not much. Solid, solid machine. I mean, you could not go wrong with it. Um, this one is closer to us, so we have a little less freight on these. So that'd be the only difference between this or the Heisen. And with the Heisen, it wouldn't be the axis here. It'd be called the sector. So just think about that when we're when you're buying it from us. It'll be a sector, not a axis. So, but this is a big horn all the time. And I can't say enough about this machine. We've sold a ton of them, and we have, don't have any issues with them. People love them. They work them on the farm. You know, we have tree farms around here that buy two or three at a time. They, they like them. Um, they ride really well. They have good power. I actually think, personally, this one has more power than that one, but we will find that out here in a minute. But out of my two, I like some features on the Axis. And I think it's a little sportier looking, but if I had a farm and I was gonna work it in that kind of deal, trail riding would be really fun. I would, my personal favorite is the big one, but they both have their pros and cons. So we're gonna get them out here and we're gonna ride them around. I've got, I've got old Jolly and Josh are gonna get out there and I hope they don't wreck them because they have a bad habit of tearing stuff up. So. We're going to see if they can make it through the little obstacle course we have in the back and we'll see what happens, see which one comes out on top. All right, here they are side by side. I may have been a little wrong. I think that the big horn is a little narrower than the... They're very, very close, but they're still just wide enough to go through the trail. Everybody likes that too. They're just a little wider than a four-wheeler, so a big four-wheeler, so they're this might not be the best day to do this. It's kind of snowing and raining, and we don't get that a lot in South Carolina, so it's a little muddy, but we're going to still do it anyway. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to get them side by side and run a quick acceleration test. We're going to do some footage inside driving them, different things. I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them, folks. I mean, they're just nice, solid, affordable UTVs, and I think if you bought you one of each, Either one of them, I think you would be very happy with what it is and not dropping 20 grand on a Polaris or a Canon. So, it's up to you to decide which one, but if you're looking for something under 10 grand, you need to look at these. So, Alright, we're going to do the accelerator. Alright, again, remember that the Heisen is a 471. And the Bighorn is a 391. 
So we're gonna see three. One, two, three. As you can see, the bighorn kind of left the hyson in the dust, but there, uh, the hyson was catching up. So I think that, I think it would get it in the end, but like I said, the bighorn has a lot, a lot of acceleration, a lot of power. So, all right, we're gonna go to the inside driving them now. versus the bench other than that I mean the UTVs are they're top-notch units so we work on them all the time we have a lot of good luck with them um, so I mean it's a very good entry-level UTV that you can get out there with your family and, and uh, do things with the only plus I see to the big horn over if you 
you were gonna, if you had more family members, you know, this one you can put the seat on. I'm not, I think Tyson's making a model now with the seat on it, but I would have to check on that for you. But I know this one does, because we sell a bunch of them, because, you know, people buy them to use like golf carts. So, that's one thing with that one. But I mean, as far as the workhorse, both of them are great. So, I'm gonna get opinions of people that work with me. Of course, you've heard about Jolly. That's my nephew, Jonathan, but we call him Jolly. But And then Josh, he works on the ATVs and stuff here with me. So we're going to get their opinion because they've driven them both and they work on them both and see which one they think. I like the Axis more than I do the Bighorn. It feels, I feel like the ride of the Axis is a lot. To me, it's better and just for the way I like to ride. I like the center console. I like the bucket seat. I like how overall the power of the Axis it had more in the long run, but the big one had the more the instant power. So I have to give it that. But if it's my opinion, I would I like the axis. Alright, now we're gonna ask Josh. I like the big one personally because I like power. I like how it rides. It feels good when it's hitting bumps. Can't really tell. Other than that, I like the big one overall. There you have it, we got a split opinion. So I guess I'm gonna have to break it. I'm gonna have to break it and see which one actually came out on top. To me, being a taller guy, I think that the Hyson has more leg room. And as I told you before, I like the console. You know, in my truck I have the console. When I look for stuff, I look for bucket seats. So that's a personal opinion of mine. The instant power thing, when you hit this big one, it's gone. This one kind of steps up to it. That could be instant gearing. But overall, it's going to get you where you need to be quickly. Both of them are both solid machines. There again, it's just opinion. So, so it's just opinion. So we had a split decision there. If I was personally looking for one and they're the same price, I don't know what I would do. So you just need to come in, drive them both. If you're in or around South Carolina, look us up. We'll put it down in the description how you can get in touch with us. If you have any questions, don't don't feel free to call us. You know, we'll, we'll answer anything we can. We'll help you try to make a decision. You know, this one comes out of Texas. It's gonna be a little more in shipping costs, but they're virtually the same price. So actually, when we get one, the Hyson is going to be a 450 model as well. This this one you will not be able to get from us. This is a Lowe's only unit, but they're virtually the same. That's why I wanted to get out here and do the comparison. We are a Hyson dealer. We are a Bighorn dealer, and you can get either one, but we're going to try to get some 750s in here and do a comparison on those. Bighorn, this is it. 450 is the biggest one they make. Heisen makes up to a 1,000. They make a crew in this. They make a crew in this one. And they also have some great four-wheelers, um, ATVs. So we're going to be getting some of them in because right now everything's just impossible to get right now. So as they come in, we'll do some more. We'll do some fun stuff. We might have Josh jump off this uh, cliff back here with the four wheeler and see how it holds up. You never know with us. So just stay tuned, but just hit the like button. Let's try to give us some love and let's get this thing going for us. Thank you.